back line. This cabinet is belongs to Archie Van, uh, just about the best country picker I ever heard beside Brad Paisley. And uh, I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'm flying, and I ain't got no wings. But anyway, it's uh, anyway. Uh, this cabinet is uh, is awesome. It's a uh, hundred watt celestial, and. Uh, it's got removable grill cloth. I'll show you. See, it's got these little, actually, little knobs on there that you pull it out, pull it out. That's the only way you can get to the speaker. And I got two on the bottom, see, right here and right there. Backline made in USA. Um... Uh, says serial number 003. Well, actually, this cabinet is the very third cabinet I built. Uh, a friend of mine, um, uh, Richard, uh, got the, uh, the, the very first one. Uh, it looks just like a fender uh, cabinet. And, uh, it's 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 bad of the bone and uh i um uh, uh he bought the very first one and he he said it was an honor to to buy uh terry from black oaks first cabinet to build i used to build them a long time ago when i was in 20s in my early 20s but i uh i just didn't have the tools to do a real good job. Now I'm 66 years old. I've got the best tools. I'd like to think, and a hell of a hell of a workbench, a compressor, and uh, power every kind of drill and saw you can think of. Clamps out the wazoo. L brackets, uh, well, uh, these uh, things that are shaped like an L to put in the clamp to the corners to make the cabinet a perfect, symmetrically perfect square. And, uh, but anyway, um, the, uh, the grill cloth comes on and off, you know. See, with this, and then you just do that and it's back on. So that's how you get to the speaker. And uh, wonderful cabinets. There's a, uh, a uh, uh, alligator skinman over there. And I've got stuff sitting on the top of it over there that <laughs> I put my t stuff on to put the, uh, to work on the grill cloth. You know, use it as a workbench. <laughs> but it's an excellent cabinet. It's, it's, uh, there's a purple one that's really nice. And, uh, I'm fixing to go in the studio and, uh, lay down some guitar for Ray Reach on his, uh, it's going to be a national, uh, release on a major label. And Steve Gadd, the best drummer in the world, just about is uh the drummer on the project and it's a it's an honor to play on the album with ray reach and him and i think uh marsalis or that i think he's uh i don't know if, i think he's on it too i'm not really sure um who the bass player is but uh i'm gonna play a, a, a solo on one of the cuts uh bluesy uh blues rock kind of tune and uh ray asked me to do it and by jimmy crickets um uh, 
I guess I'll I'll probably do it maybe uh oh. drop my prune. You know that that happens sometimes you drop your prone. Uh. Okay, boop 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 So I'm kind of excited. I'm really excited about laying down my part. I got an EVH 100 watt uh, head uh, coming. It's going to be delivered. I bought from Guitar Center. Uh, it's an uh, awesome, awesome amp head that I'm going to use. Uh, it's got white toilet. It's on with a white panel. Bunch of knobs. It's three channels. It's got a really sweet, clean channel that you can play a pedal steel through. And it's a fetch loop and it's got a blues rock channel that sounds awesome. And then it's got that red thrill kill, overkill <laughs> channel that's for like metal and stuff. I like that. I like that setting. I use it a lot, heavy metal sound on solos and stuff, power chords on my original music. I write music every day. And I'm fixing to do an album with a really good friend of mine that I met um, uh, through a friend of mine, um, Bill Young. He's gonna play bass with me and he's gonna be my bass player. And he's a wonderful tech excellent engineer and he is brilliant he's a genius folks and he's a super nice christian man i like that so uh i'm looking forward to he lives in florida so i'm gonna i'm gonna uh go down there either sometime and maybe i'm gonna talk to him see when i can do it like uh, uh winter time at the latest either before Christmas or after Christmas. I might go do about four tunes before Christmas and then go down after the first of the year and do the rest of them and finish the album and uh, uh, have it mastered and mixed and mastered and uh, by the best, you know, um, and uh, get this, try to get this puppy, let him shop it for a uh, major label and uh, I think it's going to have vocals on it. Uh, right. This, my first album, Return of the Indian, was uh, instrumental, uh, all instrumental. And it was it's a great album. It's only eight tunes of instrumentals, but I, I, I cut it in no time. And a lot of people like it. Lots of people. I've been getting compliments on it. They say, man, this is the greatest uh, guitar instrumental album I ever heard, man. It's totally different from the other guys. Well, it is. It's it's, it's not like Aldi Miola or Satriati or or any of these characters. It's uh, uh, I don't shred. I just play tasteful. My style's kind of like uh, 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 Pat Travers, Jeff Beck. Um, Brad Whitford, I'd say Brad Whitford from Aerosmith, Smith, you know, and his buddy, um, you know, and, uh, uh, a lot like, uh, Dickie Betts playing too. And, uh, I use the tremolo a lot, very tastefully. And, uh, I just love playing guitar and, uh, the Lord has blessed me with this love of guitar again in my life. And uh, I just uh, enjoy doing it so much that it's unbelievable how much I love to play now. You know, because I went through a very depressed state of mind a few years ago that was uh, hard on me. And I, uh, and I prayed to get out of that mess, and I did. So, uh, um, 
I just love playing guitar. All right, enjoy the, uh, the, the, the enjoy the video and uh, check out my other than the backline speaker cabinet. If you want one, uh, you can make you can uh, send uh, email me at t e r r y s l y d like Terry Slide with a Y uh, at iCloud.com and uh, I'll make you an awesome cabinet, you know. And anyway, thank you for listening and Terry out. Back flying. <laughs>